And we are learning more about a crash involving an officer with the Bakersfield Police Department in a stalled vehicle. It happened in northwest Bakersfield. The car was left with extensive damage and the officer with moderate injuries. Eyewitness News reporter Celine Stevens is at the scene of that collision to tell us what happened. Celine. Michael, that BPD officer was on a motorcycle Wednesday afternoon when he crashed into a car that was stopped alongside the road that you see right there behind me. I spoke with the driver of the vehicle who tells me that she had to stop her car and she did everything that she could to prevent an accident like this from happening. Shortly after I got into Brim Hall, my car, I couldn't accelerate. And I called up my mechanic to see about getting my car in because my car stopped. I was going to see about having it towed over there. And that's when the accident happened. Sure. Oh, I gotta go. Victoria Varner was pulled over on the side of Brimhall Road for just a few minutes Wednesday afternoon when she was hit from behind by a Bakersfield Police Department officer on a motorcycle. It was terrifying because I saw a motorcycle and I was like, oh no, I was really worried for the person's safety. And then I saw it was a BPD officer and my first instinct was just to call the police and jump out to make sure he was okay. She says before the crash happened, she did what she could to avoid an accident, but it wasn't enough. It was an accident. I, I did everything I could to try to prevent an accident with pulling over when I couldn't go any further with my hazards and trying to call for help. Varner is a nurse and says she recognized the officer from her work. She says he was clearly distressed but coherent and was later taken to the hospital with moderate injuries. But would Varner be held liable if taken to court? According to Chris Hagen from Chain Cone Clark, the chances are slim. Can she be sued? Absolutely. We live in California. Is she likely to be found liable if the case were to go to a jury? Probably not. He says if anyone ever finds themselves in this situation, drivers should always pull over as far as they can to the side of the road, put their hazards on, surround their car with cones if available, and lastly, get out of the car and away from the road. Imagine if rather than a BPD officer on a motorcycle here, we have a commercial vehicle, a tractor trailer who's driving down the road, right? And hits the rear of that woman's car and she's in it. We would probably have a pretty tragic outcome. Barner says she just cares about the officer's well-being and her car eventually being repaired. As for the officer, BPD tells me that he has been released from the hospital and is in stable condition, but has not yet returned to duty because of his injuries. In Northwest Bakersfield, Celine Stevens, Eyewitness News.